welcome to another video by DJ Mobile Auto Services. So if you're new to this channel, remember to like and subscribe. And if you want to all the viewers, thanks for watching. All right, so the customer came in with a complaint stating that this vehicle is holding back. All right, um, I believe recently he replaced the coil, the plugs, the e-services, injectors, and the EGR. And also he replaced the fuel pump. And I still feel like the vehicle is holding back at certain RPM, he explained. All right, so... The access if I could check it out for him. So before I do anything, I'd like to do a visual on this vehicle, right? Listen to how it sounds, listen to how it starts, um, and before I put a scan tool on it, right? Um, this is the Nissan Nissan Ring Road. It carry the HR15 engine in it, which is a popular engine here. So it shouldn't be hard to figure out, right? So let me just get my scan tool and pop it on the this vehicle and take it from there. All right, using this launch scan tool, I'm attempting to go to the back door, right? Now all the time you, you are able to go to the back door, right? Um, I believe it's depending on the protocol and if it matches, stuff like that, right? But going to the back door, you tend to see a little bit more information, when it, especially when it comes to drivability issues, right? Um, I can get anything from a long-term, short-term fuel trim, um, from a mass airflow, grams per second, you know, my map, you know, things like that, right? So with that now, I'm able to kind of narrow down what I'm seeing and what I'm supposed to get based on the information that I'm gathering here on the scan tool, right? So let me just pull up Nissan and go and see if I could pull up some pits where I could, where it could assist me to narrow down a little bit, right? This customer states that he's getting, he having issues when accelerating, he feel like the vehicle is holding back and he just wanna know, you know, why is it? So. I'm gonna pick the EJR command. Um, let's, let's see what else I will get. Um, EJR error. Um, um, I normally just pick like long term fuel trim, O2 sensor. Um, what else I need? Yeah. Sometimes I pick the IAT, right? Um, the long term, short term, right? That should be it. I don't need much, right? So let me see what I'm seeing here. Right, so I'm going to put it in the graph mode so I can just see it a little better, right? Now, peoples, um, not because the scan tool, when you scan and you see it in red, that means it's bad. That just, no, it don't, it don't work like that, right? So you got to learn to interpret the data, right? So right now, off the bat, I'm seeing that I'm pulling um, fuel on the, using my long-term fuel trim, right? And, but I'm also seeing that I'm, um, I'm in open loop, right? So I gotta get this car warmed up first before I do anything. So give me a minute real quick. All right, so with the vehicle started, I'm just checking out the my fuel trim and my data, right? My mass airflow, it could be better, probably dirty. But I'm getting minus nine on the fuel trim, on my long-term fuel trim. I am in closed loop, but I'm watching my command to my EGR. I'm not sure I'm supposed to be getting um, come out to each area if I'm not driving right now. Right, um, what else am I seeing? I'm seeing that I had a command to my each area here in the error. The question is why? Why did I get that command to my each area? Now I'm seeing zero. So I'm gonna I'm gonna diagnose. I'm gonna go after my EGR first. This customer said that he's getting like a hold back between I believe he said eighteen hundred to three thousand RPM. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna go check use my fuel trim to diagnose this vehicle. Why am I basically this minus here telling me that I'm pulling fuel I want to know why I gotta know why if I rev the engine you see it going more closer to the zero which is good but it looks like something is up with this EGR so let me go and do some tests or do a drive a test drive and I'll be able to diagnose a little better with the data that I have, I'm going after EGR or something fuel related. As I said, the customer purchased a pump, he changed the 
filter, he, I don't know what else he did. He changed coil pack and spark plugs and that's not gonna fix this car. This look like is he having an issue at a certain RPM. So I'm gonna hook up my next scan tool and get some data and then I'm gonna attack this. All right, so we're gonna go for a test run. Right, um, right now you're seeing that it's green, right? So it's two, let me say, um, a fuel trim is positive. Like, let's say it's 100, right? So it will be like 102 trip. right now, Correction, right? Good. Correction, which is actually real good because that means I have no... If I was seeing like a red block there, I would have to probably go after a vacuum leak or something like that or fuel trim or even mass airflow. But right now, I'm not seeing... I'm seeing a green right there. If I step on the X, right now I'm in the park. Right, that's a fuel pump that the customer has. Right, um, if I park and I step on the X, right, you will see the you will see the the box lit up, whatever color it is, and so that will show me that hey, I'm having this issue while I'm idling. But we're gonna take it for a drive and we're gonna watch to see what is happening while we're driving. All right, so what I like about this tool, right, I can put it to record and go for a drive, right? Um, the key is to fill up all the boxes, right? Drive slow, drive fast, right? Um, basically idle, um, maximum throttle, you know? And when I stop, I'll be able to analyze the data, right? So if you notice now when I'm driving between 12... 1200 rpm to like 2400 rpm you notice um is in yellow and sometimes it's orange right it's also telling me that the ecu is pulling fuel right so i gotta figure out why it's pulling fuel um i saw this problem before a while back on a vehicle and can't remember what it was off the top of my head but in this case what i'm gonna do since it's a driving problem uh, issue i'm getting when i'm driving and you notice as it as the RPM increase, it gets better. So that's eliminate fuel. That's not no injectors causing that. And I don't believe it's a mass airflow, right? It's pulling fuel. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go and pull a EGR and see what was done because the customers did say he cleaned it and well, the shop cleaned it and service it. But I'm gonna pull the EGR and I'm gonna just take a visual and see if I have to replace it. So to get to the EGR, you gotta remove the two clips here. These two clips from right here, pull this off. We'll move over this ducting part here. Depending on how tough it is, I may have to remove the battery. I think I may, I might still have to. Um, I'm gonna disconnect the battery and get access to this EGR right here. Swap them out, I might have to take out this hose. I'm not sure. Matter of fact, I wanna see if I could do it without moving out the battery. So I'm gonna, Release these two clamps here, right, like this. Hold on, let me try I'm trying to do this with one hand. That's the problem. All right, so I removed the air duct in from here. Let's put it to the side. So I'm gonna get access to this EGR here. So, I'm going to remove these two 12, um, 10 bolts and I'm going to try to prise it up. Right? Um, the reason I'm going after the EGR because I find the EGR command looking a little fishy. So let's give me a minute. Let me just see if I could take it out. And I have a, another EGR there. So I'm going to try that one and see if that will help. All right. So we're going to, let us say, remove this bolt here. And have another one behind here. I'm gonna move that out. Alright, so this was the EGR that came out from this vehicle. So I'm gonna put it in this one and see what is going on. I'm seeing some stuff up in the EGR. Oh, let's see. I'm not sure. So alright, after replacing the part that affects the um the fuel trims and stuff like that, what we gotta do is we gotta do a reset. We have to do a reset. If we don't do the reset, it's gonna remain the long term is always gonna stay at minus 10. Right? So um I did it before. Before I even got on, you just go on maintenance. Um it, you don't have to do it on all cars. Some cars you have to drive it to reset, but Nissan you have to reset it as it would always remain 
where it was last, right? So you have to tell the brain that. And then you do, so like say for instance, my mother was saying it was minus 10, so it was taking away fuel, right? Um, so when I replaced the EGR, right, I took it for a drive test run, see where I'm getting, I'm, I was okay. And then I noticed that my fuel trim was still reading, my fuel trim was still reading um, minus 10, right? So, but I know I fixed it. So what I needed to do was replace, not replace, to reset the, what you call it, my fuel trims, right? So I'm just going to show you how I do it. Um, let's go on Nissan, um, go on special function, engine special function, hit the start, it will recalibrate. So when I did it before, it was saying, hold on real quick, let me go through this front door. Yeah, when I went through the front door, it was like 90% or something like that, right? Um, and then when I press update, it went to 100%, right? So when you, what you're gonna see is 100% showing that everything was reset. Let me just get to it and I'm put you back up. Okay, so what you're gonna do is go into the engine module, right? Um, when you go into the engine module, you will go into, I think it's work or special functions. Oh, let me, this is going to take a little while to do. And then once we do that, right, so you're going to go into work support. Right, you see, you see self-learning count. You're going to hit that button. Right, so that means it clear all the um, poor drivability issues that you had that, that stays on the ECM. You have to hit that, right? So you press OK. It will tell you, well, I did it before. It was at 90. Now it's at 100. You can just press start here. Right, you say that it's complete. Right, you stop. You come out. If you want, you could go back into your data and read all your inputs. I normally go after these for. Normally pick these for when it comes to um. That's okay. All right, so you see my alpha adjustment reset. My alpha is 100%, right? EGR. Right, so right now I'm going to start the vehicle. Then I go in the closed loop. I want the vehicle warm up. All right, once the vehicle is warmed up, I'm going to put you back on and we'll just check the values to make sure what we did was correct. Right, so with the vehicle being warmed up right now, I'm watching my data. Right, so remember, before I was getting like minus, not minus, I was getting like 90 um, percent. Right, so now I'm close to 100. I want this to be close to 100, 101, anything 105. I'm not gonna blink an eye, but I want to see this 100. Right, um, my vehicle is warming up. My EGR is closed off at this moment. It's not stepped up. I'm watching my my bank, my, um, what you call it? My airflow sensor in the back. I'm watching my mass airflow, it's real good. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna pull up some pigs that I saved on this vehicle, sorry. On, let's see. Um, did I have it? No. Right, so I did not save the the data from before to now on this scan tool. I was using my launch right now. Um, but what I'm saying is I want to see this. I want to see this close to 100, right? Well, what I can also do is take you for a ride um, using my, my next scan tool I was using. And I can monitor how it looks. Because remember I was seeing like my fuel trims was in and out red blocks orange blocks yellow blocks so i want to if i want to confirm my fix so let's hook up that scan tool and that would show better than this because i was using that one to do the test run 
right so let me be back right, so you see how now i'm getting all these green boxes filling up uh once in a while i get a yellow but most of the time i'm getting the green so i believe this is a fix right um so we had a faulty egr where the command was was off on the egr um as i said i'm not sure exactly what was done before but it looked like it was only happening when it was driving right um if you look real good when i idle i'm getting within again good fuel trim correction and when i'm accelerating again good trims also good correction so yeah i want to call that a fix right so we had a 40 egr basically it looked like he was sticking or he was staying open um while the v while the person is running so let's reduce the rpm to where he was saying that he was getting a problem between 1800 to 3000 if you notice all the boxes checked in yeah that's what's up so as I said, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button uh, for more content. Um, appreciate everything. Until next time, uh, be safe out there. Take it easy. Bye. Good day.